I tell stories. If you just want information, I have that in the description. I buy a lot of Noctua products. Yes, I like adding stickers to my collection, but at the end of the day, it's the perfect mixture of premium build quality, aesthetics, sound tone, and performance. But I'm not set in my ways, and in fact, I spend a lot of time and money exploring other cooler options because price is one metric I just can't ignore. Normally, I'm comparing ultra small form factor coolers, but lately I've been building ATX systems with tower coolers for a client, and Scythe just updated several products in their lineup. From my observation, the Shuriken 3, Mugen 5C, and Fuma 2B have new fans. That's obvious. The other updates, I'd have to look at a spec sheet to even notice. The new fans are slimmer, and do feel a little bit more plasticky, and because of this, I was worried they are going to be a cost-cutting measure that ruined a good thing. Luckily, my fears were unfounded, and we'll get to that in a bit. The Shuriken 3 I've already covered in a dedicated video, and if you haven't tried this cooler, you are missing out. It is my absolute favorite cooler in this height class, bar none, at any price. It's super compatible with all the mini ITX boards and sockets I've used, although a warning, I haven't tried it on LGA 1700 yet. It looks great, it performs exceedingly well, and the audio tone is super good. The Fuma 2 is a legend I haven't experienced firsthand, but I see recommended all the time, especially over the Mugen 5 due to its dual tower design. It includes one of their new 14mm thick 120mm fans and a 25mm thick 120mm fan with rubber dampening pads. These add 1mm to the overall thickness. This 2B revision had great compatibility on ATX and ITX boards that I tried it on, easily clearing super tall IO heat sinks. The front fan fit behind the RAM slots even on ITX, no problem. I've also never used the Mugen 5. It appears to be a smaller cooler and only includes one fan, which is 120mm by 25mm. Combined with this and its $9 cheaper price tag, I expected a little bit less performance. It also had excellent fitment on ATX and ITX, and provide you had a few extra millimeters of height in your case, you can attach another fan to the back for a push-pull. Here's where things get confusing. I ran some benchmarks, and the coolers appeared to me to be identical in performance. Now, <laughs> I am not a cooler tester, I'm just a normal dude who builds computers. But with how much bigger the Fuma 2 appears, and because it has two fans, it costs slightly more, I thought that I would be able to tell a difference. Regardless, I ran logs for you guys to check out and see for yourself, but in the meantime, I went in search of other reviewers' results. I was even more confused when seeing that the Mugen 5 actually can outperform the Fuma 2 in running at ultra-low fan speeds, but of course, the difference is marginal. I may not be a fancy cooler reviewer, but I do have eyeballs, so maybe a closer inspection can solve this mystery. Both coolers have 12 6mm thick heat pipes. Both appear to have the same fin density. Both have an identically sized base. And most telling of all, both coolers weigh exactly 885 grams with only one 120mm fan installed. So these coolers just look different, but the numbers tell us that they are basically the same. But that's not right, is it? Because our eyes clearly show an extra fan on the Fuma 2, and I know the 15mm fan is good because it works amazingly well on the Shuriken 3. So why doesn't it help the Fuma 2 take a victory lap? I don't know. Maybe it does at max RPM, or at RPM slower than 30%. But those speeds are unrealistic, and because this is a real-world test, and my only goal here is to find a tower cooler which I like, I guess we'll never know. Let's listen to these coolers for a bit. Okay, for fun, let's listen to the various fans I've been using lately at max RPM. As a side note, the decibel meter I have is only for show. A friend of mine who does lab work told me that using one of these things in an uncontrolled environment without proper calibration is absolutely not scientific, and I agree.
Both coolers have amazing mounting hardware, and dare I say it, I think Scythe actually has knocked to a top in this department, although it's very close. I love their brackets, which are so well designed and flexible that you can use Intel hardware to mount an AM4 cooler in some orientations. This is a really awesome bonus hidden feature for me, because in my lab I get to swap coolers on the same board without extra work. The Mugen 5C has decorative heat pipe caps and a plain fin aesthetic, whereas the Fuma 2 has an artistic fin pattern and no caps, but it does have a black top plate. Personally, overall, I like how the Mugen 5 looks, and if I don't have to run two fans, then all the better for my wiring and acoustics. Plus, it's cheaper, so <laughs> there's that. At half the price of the Noctua NHU-12A, the Mugen 5 is going to be my go-to tower cooler for projects that don't have luxurious budgets or super sound level requirements, where the NHU-12A is dominant. It will be replacing the ID cooling SE225XT, which I've been using extensively due to liking the looks and the performance. I think it's worth the little extra money to go with the Scythe, which has a far superior fan tone, in my opinion. Check out the links in the description for the spreadsheets with the data and other YouTube reviews of these coolers, which I found helpful. Thank you, Scythe Gary, for sending me these tower coolers to compare. It saved me a lot of money, and in turn, I hope it saves some of my viewers' money as well. Until next time, peace.